Today on Houston Life, grab your rod and reel how a local fisherman is teaching even the most experienced anglers how to fish like a pro. And we'll introduce you to the Houston area father and son duo showing off their cooking skills on Peacock's Top Chef family style. Plus, actress Greta Lee dishes on her boss role in Apple TV Plus series, The Morning Show. And we're giving you a spooky peek inside one of the scariest haunted houses in the city, how Terror Dome plans to give its visitors a good fright. All that happening today on Houston Life. Oh, my word. <laughs> Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Thursday, otherwise known as Friday Eve, October 21st. I'm Courtney Savala. Yeah, 1021, 2021. Oh my word, that I didn't be even a lucky know that. Number, right? I'm Derek Somebody's Ford. gotta be married today. <laughs> so glad to have you with us. Listen, I have been so giddy all day. You know when your face sort of like hurts from laughing so much? So we went to lunch today and when we put in the order name, <laughs> we said, oh, what's your name? Courtney. And when the food arrived, uh, it was Corny. 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 So I just think that sort of like set the tone, Corny. <laughs> That's me. I'm here for it. That's okay. I can go for any nickname. Well, we're glad to have you back from Round Top. It looked like so much fun, and you came bearing gifts. Listen, I could not come back empty-handed. So when you're in Round Top, where do you go? Royer's mm -hmm. Round Top Cafe, of course. And it was fantastic. This, of course, is their number one selling pie, the trash, Texas trash pie. Oh, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> it has uh, caramel, chocolate chips, coconut, graham crackers, pretzels. Mm. What more do you need? Listen, we had so much fun. That is JB and his wife, Jamie Lynn of Royers. And we had a fabulous lunch there. If you get a chance to go, of course, eat the pie. But please do yourself a favor and get yourself a shrimp BLT. Mm. Aaron, our producer, me, we had the sandwich. Paul had the salad. Fantastic. But the pie, right? The pie is so good. Sorry, I was wolfing it down. I didn't realize we were back on camera. <laughs> so when Houston Life first started about five years ago, producers, Heather and Aaron, yeah. we went out there and we went to Royer's and had the pies. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. You did. Well, yes. But right? somehow For that I'm still moment. here. Check out their pies. They really, this is fantastic. They're great. And also you can send them as well. I've done that to my mom and my dad. And I mean, they're great for holiday pies. But I will tell you, we had the best day in Roundtop. I heard from so many of y'all sending me messages on where to go. Bella Candles. I discovered Bella Candles because of a viewer. And these candles that they have, they're fantastic. They smell wonderfully. Um, and we got to chat with Mark Massey, of course, the mayor, and his brother Owen to chat about like all things Roundtop and just kind of the revitalization of what's going on there. Also, one of the things that, you know, you can head over to click2houston.com, that, or in uh, houstonlife.tv, uh, sorry, is where we're gonna have all the stories. But one of the things that you, that you did not see on the air yesterday is this pop-up that's there. It's right behind the Ellis Motel, which by the way, again, not a motel, great place to get a drink. Mm -hmm. um, Kimo Sabi Hats, and they are visiting from Aspen. That's Jennifer. And, you know, when you're in Roundtown, if you don't have a hat on, you might as well leave, okay? You need a good hat when you're there. And I was in search of a good hat. They'll run you out of town. They will run you out of town. Seriously, you are not allowed to be in Round Top without a hat. So I'm looking out the window, and I see this hat tent. And I'm like, I need to go check this out. That's a lot of hats. Listen, Kimo Sabi, one of their hats was recently in space. Jeff Bezos wore one of their hats on, on Blue, Blue Origin. Origin? Yes, That's Ronnie Dunn cool. from Brooks and Dunn is a big fan. You go there, you pick your hat, they shape it, they steam it, you know, size it to your head. Yeah. You can put the band on, you can add a feather, they'll embellish it, they'll, you know, stamp um, and whatever you want on it, whether it's initials or branding, any kind of, you know, the state of Texas, it's fantastic. So head over to our website. That's where we have the full story with Jennifer and hear all about the Kimo Sabi hats. I've got to take a little road trip out to Round Top and for the fall sale, it's happening for another week. Is yes, that right? it's, it's over on October. October 30th, so I may go this weekend. Hopefully, I get there because I only saw a smidge, and y'all still keep telling me of places where to go. Yeah, you gotta overnight, spend at least a couple days. I know. Kimo Sabi, though, cult following. So many of you have already told me you've bought their hats. They're fantastic. Well, welcome back, and thanks for the pie. Listen, talk to me. What else do we got? It is like a seven layer bar. That's sort of like what I can liken it to in terms of taste. We gotta talk about Astros last night's game. Yes! So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so oh good, my gosh. Right? So we were actually on the phone uh -huh. last night. Uh, you were driving back from Round Top, and I was going to an event with Lauren Kelly for the Rockets. We'll get to that in a moment. But those Astros, every time they were doing a run, Brandon would be like, okay, Courtney, just another hit, another run. So uh, we are one one win away from winning this series and advancing to the World Series. I know. Game Next game is here tomorrow So night. close we can taste it. And it would be great to see them play two more games at home, but let's just win let's it just all tomorrow it night. Let's, let's get it over. Right. Yeah, I agree. And don't forget about the Rockets. I love your shirt. I know we're in Astro spirit, but Rockets played last night. They played the Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow night's the home opener at Toyota Center, where they're playing against Oklahoma <laughs> City. You okay? <laughs> I have a chocolate chip. Okay. Right there in the back. Okay. okay. So, uh, and get your tickets because you can get a great deal, a screaming <laughs> deal on tomorrow night's tickets at Toyota Center. So go out and cheer on the Rockets. I'm so excited for another season. Is anybody trying to get tickets to tomorrow's game at uh, Minute Maid? Um, actually, people were talking about it last night up at Carbock uh, Brewing Company where we did our little Rockets kickoff. Uh -huh. Why well, are you are you selling some? I'm not, but we have inf information on how to get some. Oh, well, you know what? We sure do. So as you know by now, tomorrow the Strohs are taking on the Sox at Minute Maid Park. Why not watch at Fieldside? How about that? What Courtney said is true. We're giving you a chance to win tickets to tomorrow night's game. All you have to do, it's very easy, folks. Sign up to become a KPRC2 insider. No worries if you haven't signed up yet. You can do it right now. It's totally free. All you have to do is visit our website. Um, click to Houston.com slash insider. Or you see that QR code in the bottom left of your screen there? Just put your camera up there. That will take you right to the page that you need to enter. You have until 7 to enter to win. The winner is going to be announced tonight, tonight on our 10 p.m. news. So you're prepared, well prepared for when you win the tickets. You can call Derek and me and say, hey, let's go. <laughs> or, no, I'm just kidding. But see that QR code? Do that. Poor Connor at home yesterday saw this and he was putting his camera up there and Orlando oh. said, bro. You're not eligible. To you can't Connor. win those tickets. Sorry. Sorry. We can't win, but we you can. can. Remember, 7 p.m. is the deadline, so I good know. luck. Yeah, good luck. It's going to be amazing. All right, still to come on Houston Life, a popular social media platform. Did you hear about this? Could maybe be changing its name. We'll have all the details on that. What would they name it? I don't what would know. they call it? Hmm. All right, let's check in with Joe, who I know is loving this assignment today. He's all about ghosts and goblins because he's at the Terror Dome. Joe? Joe? No. Is that you? Oh, it's so scary. Check me out. Check me out, you guys. So we just been transformed into one of the ghouls and goblins here. As you can see, I'm hanging out with my friends. We're getting ready with the makeup artists here to head inside of the Houston Terror Dome to let our victims know what they can expect. More Houston life when we return. Okay, welcome back. You know, this one, literally, I cannot get enough information about. Literally. Literally. <laughs> I really, I cannot get enough information about because I'm constantly scratching my head over this topic. And I'm talking about Facebook wants to change its name. And this is a real thing, right? This is a real thing. I originally thought, oh, no, this is not really going to happen because why would you? I mean, this is a a generation, right? I mean, face, just think about before Facebook, what we did and how we operated or since Facebook, how we connected with everyone, right? I know there's there's pros and cons to this story. This is according to an article on The Verge. A source says that a rebrand is a reportedly linked to the company's effort to build its metaverse platform. I had to look that up. I'm going to be honest with you. When I, Connor, AJ, they totally get it. They know exactly. Metaverse means just sort of everything, everything. right? Everything. So Facebook Gaming. is a marketplace. It's where you buy, you buy stuff, sell stuff, game. I didn't realize it had a name. So it, it wants to basically put everything on one platform, allowing people to have all of that access for gaming, shopping, socializing, the virtual environment, with the purpose of showing Facebook more than just a social media company. It's, it's you know, several layers, basically. There's saying it needs a facelift. Do you remember back in the day that like I remember being at UCLA everyone was talking about Facebook and I hadn't signed up I was one of the last people to sign up it used to just be for college students I mean it wasn't and then eventually they opened it up to everybody but I feel like now fast forward Facebook you kind of like know a little bit too much about people like their political views and what they had for breakfast and what they're going to it just it's there's just a lot, lot. there's a, a lot like a happening like a fire hose of information right CEO Mark Zuckerberg plans to talk about the name change at the company's annual connect conference. This is happening on October 28th, hmm. but rumors are it could be unveiled sooner for this change. So we're saying it could happen 
in the next week. Wow. Well, it certainly has changed the world in many, many ways. It's almost like if you didn't post something, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Right? Now, I will say, when you first got on Facebook, it was like a high school reunion. For those still in high school, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And why aren't you in school, first of all? You should still be in school. You might be watching our show in a class. <laughs> Public, public affairs class. All right, why don't we bring in Lauren Kelly, who has today's question of the day. Hey, Lauren. Or watching on their phone, you know, when they should be paying attention to oh, the teacher. Oh, yeah. Yes! Well, we want to hear from you guys. How has social media changed your life? And, of course, we've already got some great answers coming in. Let's start with Willie. He writes in, realistically, not much in my personal life, but in my business, it has changed my life in leaps and bounds by connecting me with clients that I may that's not awesome. have met. Otherwise, yeah. that's actually a very, very good point, Willie. I agree with you right there. Gustavo says, not for the best. I can tell you that. wonder how much time you spend on that social media. <laughs> Carmen writes in, found part of my biological family after 44 years wow. and keeps us in touch before meeting them, so it has changed my life. That is awesome. And Jennifer says, pros and cons to it. Pros, it keeps me connected with people I wouldn't normally keep up with on such a daily basis. Cons, it keeps me on the phone instead of seeing life go by me. That does kind wow. of cut, go in that whole category as like you're just looking down constantly you're not having the conversation with somebody who's right in front of you so pros and cons i do understand you guys head over to the houston life facebook page and join our conversation going to share more of your comments a little bit later on but Derek and courtney has it changed your life good bad both you know i i see both you know uh, connecting and, and and not finding a way to put it down i feel like that is a con i do love seeing people that i don't live around anymore mm -hmm. that i can mm -hmm. see their children growing up or milestones yeah. that they've hit so also with our viewers i yes. feel like it has radically changed just the television business in general because yeah. how great is it that we can throw a question out and connect with our viewers yes. photos back responses back all of it it's yeah. been great and trust us like we look at instagram during during commercial break we read your comments on Facebook so I do think that's a huge positive to connect with people across the miles made me a better FBI agent I feel like I'm a really good detective these days I can find out information on anybody I should not have admitted that but yes I can find it is my face on your wall at home <laughs> What's no, happening? yours is not. No. We connecting dots. Post it notes. <laughs> okay, Lauren. Well, thanks so much for Learned something that new. tell all. <laughs> all right, get ready to experience one of the most terrifying haunted houses in the city. It's the Houston Terror Dome. I don't know if I can go in. I'm such a chicken. You can Joe do it. Sam is in Channel View giving us a creepy walkthrough of what their victims, I mean, you know, the visitors can expect. I love the makeup, Joe. Oh, Courtney and Derek is going to be so exciting. So I'm walking through right now with Shannon here at the Houston Terror Dome. What room are we in right now? This is the hallway. Oh, 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 scariest places here in Houston to come and check out. Well, you can see for yourself, Joe. This is terrifying in here. <laughs> now, what's new this year? Because there are so many different things that we see, but what's new this year at the Houston Terror Dome? Because Terror Dome. we're so used to seeing so many other things and so many other rooms incorporated, but we see these beautiful bright rooms that you have now. <laughs> What's new here at the Houston Terror well, Dome? We've added Nightmare Alley, which is a selfie saloon and bar. We also have axe throwing, an escape room, and of course our Sicko and Frico paintball massacre. Now, why do you want people to come out here and check this out? Because you put this on every single year, and scaring people is what you do. <laughs> we, we try to terrify you for the moment. <laughs> this is so, oh wow. Look at where we are now, you guys. This is another one of the rooms here at the Houston Terror Dome. Shannon, I can't even get through the whole interview without being freaked out here. Look who's behind us. When we come back, we're going to be showing you so much more of what they have here at the Terror Dome if I don't run out before it happens. But for right now, we're going to send things back to you Turn guys around. in the studio, Courtney and Darren. Shannon, you did Turn a good around. job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We are totally going. Joe, good job for uh, keeping it together out there. I know it's a lot. A clown snuck up on you. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Catch your breath. When we come back, how you can save money while choosing the best flooring material for your home. All right, but now let's go back to Lauren Kelly, who interviewed one of the stars of 
one of my favorite streaming shows right now. Hey, Lauren. I love this show, too, Derek. Still ahead, actress Greta Lee is a powerful player in the second season of The Morning Show. She's dishing on, dishing on what it's like to be playing a young boss of two Hollywood icons in this Apple Plus TV series. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life. Is your home's flooring scratched and worn out? If it's time for a change, choosing the right flooring material doesn't mean you have to spend a ton of money. And a company called 50 Floor offers options really for any budget. Maria Sotolongo, it's great to see you. Thank you for having me. Okay, new flooring. This could put some people in a tailspin because it's what I love about 50 floors. There's options basically for every budget. Yes, and you know, there's not just 50 options like we always say. There are hundreds of options and you don't have to limit yourself to just, hey, I think I want to do hardwood. Hang on a minute. We're here to tell you that there are, again, hundreds of options and we're going to hopefully inspire you. This is really great because I feel like if, you know, we've all been in our homes and we're looking to kind of right. update flooring can really take our home to the next level whether you're talking about hardwood or laminate or carpet I mean you guys yes. really have the option on all of that we want to work with your budget with your lifestyle so exactly like you were mentioning carpet well we are going to talk to you about again your lifestyle what you are thinking for the bedroom for the maybe media room that you're going to use your carpet do you want that Berber carpet well that might be a little bit more on the high end but we've got hundreds of samples and we are going to talk to you all about it when we come to you because that is the difference between other big box stores and 50 floor. We bring the showroom to your room. So no matter what your lifestyle or what your budget is, we will work with you. And the good thing is too, y'all offer financing. Yes, we do offer 0% financing as long as the balance is paid off within the terms of the agreement, but it is 12 months of 0% financing if you qualify. So again, your budget, whatever your uh, desire is for, whatever style you have, we're going to come to you and again, bring you all hundreds of samples so that you can see in the comfort of your home, depending on the decor that you have, your pillows, you have a specific pillow you want to match, or maybe the, hey, the, the, the wall decor, whatever it is, we're going to be there with you every step of the way. You kind of hit a little bit on this and what separates 54 from basically everyone else is y'all come to us. And I think that's really important to be able to see these samples in our lighting in that room. Exactly. It makes a, a big difference whether you have kind of a rustic decor or maybe more of a beachy vibe or more modern. So we're going to come to you and then again work with all of these samples in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to take just one tiny sample or two or three from the big box store. You're going to get all of these samples right there in the comfort of your own home. And making it easy and convenient. Easy and convenient. We're going to walk uh, with you again. You don't have to do this by yourself. So we're going to walk with you every step of the way. Okay. A lot of times people think new carpet, new flooring. I can't deal with it. I'm going to have to take everything out of the house. The house is going to be disrupted for a long period of time. Not no. the case with 50 floor. That is not the case with us. We're going to do all the heavy lifting for you. We're going to come in, move all that furniture for you, move the plants, move everything out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up that old flooring. We're going to inspect the sub flooring, make sure everything's okay. And then there you go. Put down that new flooring and usually it can be done in one day. Okay, super easy and convenient. Yes. Unhooked. Let's do it then. New floors, everybody. <laughs> 50 Floor has a special offer for Houston Life viewers. Call within the next hour and receive free installation. You can also use the promo code Houston Life to get an extra $100 off your order. You can call 877-50-FLOOR. That's 877-503-5667. Or simply visit 50floor.com. Now we're going to check in with Lauren Kelly, who has a look at the morning show on Apple TV Plus with the newest boss babe in charge of the show's fictional UBA network. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Courtney. For season two, actress Greta Lee joined the cast of the morning show as Stella Bach, the feisty young president of the news division with a killer wardrobe. I got to chat with her all about her latest big wig role and what it's like working with some of Hollywood's biggest names. Listen. Yes. About this debate, mm -hmm. I hear you don't want to do it, but can I just tell you why we think it's so important? Yep, yes. It's not about drawing viewers, because all eyes will already be on UBA that night, but with all of our recent troubles, it's imperative to show that we can still deliver good quality content. Mm -hmm. And nothing says quality 
more than you, Alex. And you'll kill it. And you'll get a ton of juice off of it. You think I need juice? I'm not particularly saying you need juice, but, mm -hmm. you know, who doesn't need some juice? <laughs> you are a force to be reckoned with as a powerful player. Second season of The Morning Show on Apple TV+. Plus. And I have to say, you're such a sweet person. I know this is just a role. How does it feel playing such a <laughs> boss, like a head boss? You've got to take the reins, take control, and, and be mean, to, you know, to, just to keep things in line. How does that feel to, to play so powerful? I'm not going to lie. It is so fun. <laughs> it is so fun. So fun to do. I mean, I, I as people and, and as actors too, I think there's an element of like being a natural pleaser, you know, wanting, I mean, in order to do what I do, you know, I have to be a team player. I have to collaborate. Um, so it's really fun to play someone who just does not give a flying hoot about <laughs> It's in some cases, anyone or anything else other than her vision of what she thinks uh, is necessary to create like this big like sea change um, at, at UBA. Um, and the way Stella feels about Alex and Bradley, it, it's in direct opposition to how I feel personally as an actor working with some of my heroes. Uh, so that's also just an another thing that I have to wrap my mind around. Um, and it's pretty fun. You know, speaking of heroes, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, I mean, the cast, the, the list is amazing, right? I you guys have yeah. such an incredible wardrobe. How does it feel having almost a better wardrobe than Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> kind of great. I mean, I it's that's what's so amazing about Stella, though. The character that I play, she's so unapologetic about what kind of boss she wants to be and how she wants to be perceived. I mean, she's very bold, and it's such a huge flex that she's walking around in those giant, chunky Prada sneakers. I love, she never wears heels, and she's sort of like, yeah, this is me. <laughs> That would definitely be the reason I accept the role. No heels, check, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I well, love it. <laughs> Greta, we love the show. I mean, after COVID, who wants to wear heels anymore? Absolutely. Greta, we love the show. Yeah, Thanks for I'm catching us back. up on it. New episodes Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, you're a doll, and you are a powerful boss, and we can't wait to watch more. Thank you. No She's so sweet. Greta adds such a powerful presence with her character, Stella, to the show. Definitely one that I think our entire HL staff would recommend watching. New episodes, like we just said, of The Morning Show for season two stream each Friday. And I don't know who my favorite character is on the show now. I Jennifer like her Aniston, style as a boss. Reese Witherspoon, Greta now. I mean, I Billy Crudup. It's amazing. I love the show. I need to get on the train to watch yes. the show. You've got to watch yes. it. It will, you will, you'll love it. Let's okay. just leave it there. I'm, I'm on with the sneakers. I can't <laughs> Insane. Prada sneakers. Designer sneakers. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Sure. <laughs> All right, coming up next on Houston Life, the story of a local fisherman who created a guide service to help you get the most out of Galveston Bay. And we're going to get a check of what is coming up for the news at 4, including a look at your forecast. I mean, fall's coming back, right? Well, Houston Life definitely is in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday Eve at 3.30. Yeah, earlier in today's show, we asked, how has social media changed your life? I just saw this first comment. It's a good one. Butch says, made me more judgmental. <laughs> Love it. Rose writes in, life was so much easier using my big chief and number two pencil. Oh. It was. You know what? I love pencils. I do too. I, I especially have mechanical pencils. Kevin writes in, mentally, it has made me very lazy. I don't remember phone numbers. If I don't know something, all I have to do is ask Siri. Ooh, that's a very good point. It is true. I know my handwriting is so bad now. Uh, Jeannie writes in, it allows me to keep up with my grandchildren, even though they live over 500 miles away. See, that's the plus. That is awesome. And I feel like, especially during COVID, it was a lifesaver for so many to, people to yes. be able to connect face to face without actually being in the same city or, you know, the same house. Some people say they do a, um, like a social media cleanup on their birthdays where they just like clean house, kind of like, you know, getting rid of why on their clutter? birthday because that's the day all these randos <laughs> message you happy birthday or maybe i don't know i don't know why it's a birthday i don't know why i don't know why you know i used to feel very strange about deleting people from facebook but i realized a few years ago if someone is posting you know like hateful things 
online? Why are you giving me this look? <laughs> Why are you stopping? You know, every once in a while, you'll see a post on Facebook and that's you'll just think, like, wow, you know what? That's actually like quite hateful and awful. I don't think, I used to just hide people. I unfollow them because I don't want to be associated anymore. That is super true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. Cleansing. It's, it's good for everybody. Now let's uh, check in with Andy, Christine, and Justin for a look at what they have coming up yeah. at the top of the hour. I don't feel bad. I'm like, you gone. Yeah. Nope. Uh, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Life is too short. It's I mean, cleansing. it really is no, too short. I, I joke about it, but it really is like life is way too short. And you can find all the bad, the dirty, and the ugly online if you want to. Mm -hmm. And you got to weed it out the best you can. Yeah. You got to yeah. do your best. See, now I'm kind of a sicko. I like the fight. <laughs> I tell people, it takes too much energy. Oh, no, I'm like, bring too much energy. No, I'm like, bring it. Flat earthers, come at me. You're an instigator. I always do that about No, I do not instigate, but I will not take it. It's jstapleton at kprc.com. Come at me. Hitting delete or remove is very empowering. It is. It is. That's how I feel. Well, it is, and it's one of those things, too, where you have to ask yourself. My father always taught me this. You know, what does this mean in the greater scheme? Basically, is this something that's going to be important to you in the next five minutes, the next five days, the next five months, five years? If it is, well, then it's something that you need to really kind of, you know, massage and do. If not, get rid of it. Yeah. It's only social media. It'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. It will. It's never whether going anywhere. Whether trust me. Like There's a new TikTok tomorrow. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, so. oh man. <laughs> I can barely keep up. Can someone show me how to use TikTok? Maybe oh, after the show? You. Okay. I got gotcha. you. We, we, Andy and I were talking about that, too. Yeah. We're like, it's a AJ, whole you know, other work realm on those dance of... moves. <laughs> no. Justin's got the dance moves. Do, 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 He's also got our forecast. A good looking forecast, we hope. That's right. Thank you. There you go. See, look at that. That's why she's professional. It's called transition. Well done, Christine. Smoother than butter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, interestingly enough, after the fog this morning, which was really widespread, I do think we're going to deal with some of that again tomorrow morning. So just kind of keep a heads up, keep it in the back of your noodle there, that we'll likely see it again as we get in towards tomorrow. Right now, not much cloud cover out there. It's actually a fairly pleasant day for us. It's a live look from right here at the KPRC2 studios. It's warm once again. Temperatures are all running in the mid to upper 80s to mid 80s in Galveston. Some of these numbers, if you factor in the humidity, which is starting to become a bit of a factor, feels like it's closer to about 90, 91, 92. So yes, I know it's late October and you're like, we're still talking about the heat index, but it is out there. We've also been watching a few light showers west of Austin and Waco. Most of those are just kind of drizzling their way up into the hill country and that's about it. I don't think that they'll make it this far. So warm, little humid up there for the afternoon practice forecast. We'll keep the temperatures well into the 80s and let's run this visibilities. We take it through tonight and stop at around 3 a.m. So notice that we're starting to see things break down just a bit in terms of about a mile to a half mile, which is what we were seeing this morning pretty much widespread, even though our future cast kind of favors Liberty County. I put most of the area once again, likely looking at some of that dense fog around sunrise. Could even get a dense fog advisory. Just keep a heads up, especially if the kids are headed out to the bus stop. It's always difficult if the drivers can't see where they're standing. So better weather though for game six, first pitch 608, warm and humid heading in and we're looking good. Hopefully they can get it done. And then that is one more game to the World Series, guys. We'll get get her that. done. Of course, yeah. I've got your weekend forecast coming up at 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, that weekend that we were looking forward to. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, talk to you in a bit. Thank you. Also coming up at 4 o'clock today, getting a hearing aid can be a lengthy process. We're going to tell you about a landmark proposal that hopes to improve access to some much-needed technology so you can get those hearing aids over the counter. Plus, check your cabinets. There is an onion recall to tell you about what you need to know and why you're being advised to throw those onions out. And a lawsuit has been filed against the Dallas Aquarium. This after a child was injured by a giant otter. Details on that coming up at 4 o'clock. Yes, we'll oh see you guys in just a little bit. Goodness Busy. gracious. And that onion recall. Huh, I, know. I know. I cook with onions all the time, so I don't want to listen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch the news at 4 then, Christine. <laughs> okay, I'll be there. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. We'll see you guys then. Hey, so have you ever wanted to explore the world of fishing, but maybe you feel a bit intimidated by the process? Yeah, like where to start, where to go. One local man is even helping beginners experience the best of Galveston Bay. Some say he'll even get you hooked. I'm Captain Gary with Mackinac Outdoors. So in the warmer months, you know, we start pretty early. Normally we're leaving out, you know, 15, 20 minutes before first light, trying to get get going, kind of on a race against the clock with the sun. We go hit typically oyster reefs in the summertime. Speckled trout. 
any kind of structure really, drop-offs, grass lines, sand flats, it just depends on what the fish are doing. Today we're fishing for primarily speckled trout using live croakers over oyster reefs. We're kind of poking around seeing if maybe we can find a redfish or two and possibly a flounder. They've been kind of finicky so far. Sometimes we fish one spot or like one general area throughout the whole course of the day. Sometimes we fish 10 or 15 spots if they're not acting right. I've been fishing for about 49 years now uh, since I was born. If you do it correctly, you can escape pretty much everything that's following you around the office or in your life and uh, really get back to center yourself. So that's what I really enjoy about it. It's not about catching the biggest or the most fish. It's about having me time on the water to myself or with a bunch of uh, good friends. Mackinac Outdoors is uh, basically me, family owned business, just doing inshore Galveston Bay fishing trips. Um, I'm a full time guide service 12 months out of the year seven days a week. This job has uh, been great because I've met a lot of awesome people, like people that I would have never met if it wasn't for this. It's also been a great way for families. I see it all the time, like I have three generations on the boat, tons during the, you know, throughout the course of the year. So you've got the grandfather and the dad and the grandson, and uh, it's something that they can all do together, something that everybody can have in common that they otherwise you know, might not have. I met my husband at a fishing tournament in Rockport, and he was mad at the world, stomping around, acting like he was a fool because his fish wasn't being <laughs> measured right. And for some reason, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and we've been fishing together ever since. You know, it's almost like a therapy for some people. You get the opportunity to talk to somebody that they may not really know. You know, everybody's kind of on the same page, I guess. We're all the same people trying to do the same thing, trying to enjoy the outdoors together. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool moment happens. I mean, my stress level just went down just by the music and the view and the story. This is fantastic. It's beautiful out there. It looks so peaceful. I know. I love the array of fish that they were getting as well. For more information on Mackinac Outdoors, visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. I think I have two, three boys at home that want to do that. I Alondra think you want to do it. it as well. I would too. I mean, it's so fantastic, but the view, the day that they shot that, obviously, fantastic day to be on the water. Yeah, thanks to our producer, Aaron and Paul, for putting that together. All right, coming up, how about making a delicious cheesecake at home? We're going to have the easy recipe from the local father and son duo. There they are. We're going to meet them, Khalil and Willie. They are starring in Peacock's Top Chef family style. We'll meet them when Houston Life returns. of young chefs from all over America. I want to open a restaurant before I'm 18, but they won't take this journey alone. Competing on Top Chef with somebody you love, it's just a beautiful thing. Wow, my heart is beating a little fast already. That was a preview of Peacock's Top Chef Family Style, a new reality series where talented young chefs compete with an adult family member for their chance to win $50,000. And guess what, people? Local father and son duo Khalil and Willie Blue have sharpened their knives in the competition. They are joining us in studio. Guys, I'm serious. It's so intense to watch a competition like this because yeah. it's one thing to be good at cooking. It's another thing to do it with cameras and a clock. So. Yeah. How was the experience? You're still smiling, right? Yeah, it was an amazing experience being able to cook in front of all these amazing judges and making new family and friends along the way, but the clock was definitely stressful. That clock is real. Oh, It, well, it doesn't yeah. stop. And you were saying that a new episode drops every single week, every so week. tonight people can watch episode 8. You can episode watch it eight. right now. It's yes. Aaron. It's, it's streaming. It's right now. Okay. Right yeah. Well, something tells me you two are very strong competitors if you're already to episode 8. Uh, this is uh, this is like one of your official show picks from the show. Yes. It is. Very, very nice. How did the love of cooking happen? Because I understand, Willie, this is something that's been in your family for a while. Southern cooking, specifically barbecue? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say southern cooking specifically. We love food. You got to eat. So gotta eat. long as you put love into it, I don't care what it is, it's going to work out. And but how did you end up on the show? 
So we had an opportunity, or I was actually at home, and I get this random email. And it was like, can your kid cook? And I'm like, yeah, he can. And, you know, he wants to be a chef. I called him and said, are you interested in this? If so, you got to apply. And he did the work, and the rest is history. Well, I think it's super cool. 14 years old, Khalil, ninth grader at Ridge Point High School in Missouri City. So uh, we know you have a full plate when it comes to academics, but we're <laughs> excited you could take some time to show us something in the kitchen. This is an easy no-bake cheesecake recipe. Yes, easy no bake mascarpone cheesecake. Okay, fantastic. One of the reasons why it is so easy to the very simple ingredients. I noticed this bag of vanilla wafers. Yes. <laughs> okay, show me how it's done. All right, so first thing I'll have you do is grab that rolling pin and okay. just start crushing the wafers up. Just okay. beat them up. They can be a little chunky because that's what go you want. Go for it. Yep. Make it happen. There you go. Don't be go shy. Crazy. Don't be shy at all. Okay. There's no being shy in the kitchen. Okay, how about that? All is right. that good? Yeah, that's about good. That's, that's about good. So you can add those into the bowl. Okay. And how many Nilla wafers? Did you use an entire package here? This was about maybe a third of a box. A third of a box. A third okay. of a box. All right, those are crushed? Yep, and then you can add, add a little bit of butter into there. And this is just melted butter. Just melted butter. Melted, unsalted butter. And unsalted, you can okay. Grab that spatula, just mix everything up until it starts to combine. So essentially, we're making the crust with the uh, the crushed up cookies and the butter. Yes. Put some energy in it. Just push it. Go for it. You can't mess it up. Yeah, you got to go wild with it. <laughs> okay. Go wild. Go wild. Yes. I'm trying to keep it in the bowl. Cool. Okay. All right. So I'll start working on the filling, okay. which starts off with some mascarpone cheese. Mm. Which I love mascarpone. And is there, like, when it comes to mascarpone, are there different types? Should you be looking for, like, a different, I don't know, cream content? No, any type of mascarpone is fine. Or okay. you could even use cream cheese, but I prefer the flavor of mascarpone because okay. it's a little bit milder and you can add any type of flavor you want to it. Oh, and mascarpone is not quite as dense and thick as yeah. cream cheese, right? right? A little a lot bit creamier. lighter. Lighter and fluffy, creamier. Okay. Yep. All right, so two containers of that mascarpone cheese. Yes, so we're just, just going to add that in so we can make a good amount for all that of us to go. taste. Okay. Yep, and then I have some cream here, just some heavy cream that I already whipped. And this doesn't have any sugar in it because we're going to add some sugar later. Okay. But this is going to add that, like, fluffy texture that you would get in a baked cheesecake. But since this is a no-bake, this is what's going to add, like, the fluffy texture and feel in your mouth. Okay, and I notice you're not measuring that. You're just sort of eyeballing that heavy that's, weight. That's what, that's what cooking is all about. Like, that's what you the can follow do. a recipe, but eyeballing it, that's just a lot better. That's where all the love comes in. Taste, it. taste, taste is one of the things we learned on the show. Go yes. for it, taste it, adjust it as needed. Are you sure you're only 14, Khalil? Only 14. Just turned 14 recently. <laughs> Not bad. Well, happy belated birthday. And when Thank it comes you. to the ingredients, does it matter? Do they need to be cold or should they be room temperature? So when it comes to the ingredients, if they're colder, they might be a little bit harder to match. So room temperature is usually a little better. Okay. But it's it doesn't really matter too much, but I would definitely say room temperature if you have the time. Okay, gotcha. I think we have about a minute left. I know you guys are accustomed to cooking with the clock, so yeah. that's not a problem, right? No, we should be good. Okay. All right, I'm adding in some sugar. Then we'll add in a little vanilla extract. And my dad's going to slice those strawberries up. You guys are so calm. Anytime we have even a dinner party at our house, I swear I break out in hives <laughs> knowing that we have to cook for people. Okay, we got about 30 seconds All right. left. All right. Let's have you put this in there. Just yes. smash it into the bowls. You add the okay. crust just in there. Okay, adding the crust in here. Yep. So these are just individual little serving sizes, right? You yes. Got it. Perfect for any little dinner party. That's perfect. About that much? Yep. Okay. Throw that right then on top. We'll add in a spoon of our mixture. Look at that. So you're just layer, layer by layer, essentially. Yes. And then you kind of want to smooth it out a little bit. Look at that. It looks beautiful. You put one in there. Okay. Yep. Then you top that off with strawberries and mint. And the garnish always makes a difference, right? Yes. There you go. Hey, Courtney, Same why don't you come, come on in? I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Jeez, I'm over here <laughs> drooling. You, you, is this you one enjoy mine? the beautiful one. Uh, this is very yeah. pretty. That's I'm the one super where you got to more time. <laughs> this looks so good. And the whipped, um, like, mascarpone on the top. Oh, my gosh. Okay, survey says. Oh, amazing. Ah. It's light, perfectly creamy. I love it. Not as dense as a Not traditional as dense. baked cheesecake, right? No, and it's so delish.
Well, Khalil and Willie, thank you so much for coming in. Look at this beautiful mm -hmm. finished product right there, guys. Great flavor. Thank yeah. you so much. Best of luck thank with the show. And uh, I think Courtney and I have a date tonight to watch your show. We cool. do. Yes. I know. Congratulations. Represent in mm. Mo City. You got Very it. Well. It's the moment. Oh, my gosh. That is so, so good. Top Chef Family Style is streaming now exclusively on Peacock. New episodes, again, as a reminder, they're dropping every Thursday. And if you would like today's complete recipe, you can always visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Khalil and Willie, thanks so much. Go Thank watch guys. it. This Thank is you. so good. Yeah, it's very good. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. to have you Thank in studio. You. Now we're going to check in with Joe, who's getting us ready for a fright at the Houston Terror Dome. Joe, what are you up to now? All right, you guys, so it would not be Halloween if we didn't have some acts going on here. This is something else you can check out here at the Houston Terror Dome. So when we come back, we're getting ready to head into the Nightmare Alley. Don't want to miss that. More Houston Life when we return. Welcome back here to Houston Life. I'm saying a good prayer because that's what you're going to need to do when you come here to the Houston Terror Dome because it is definitely one of the scariest places here in Houston to check out when you're looking for something to do during Halloween. Look at all of the different monsters that we have here. We have Krampus here. We have a lot of different monsters and some very tall monsters up here too. Shannon, there's a lot happening here. We're in your Nightmare Alley right now and it is definitely a nightmare. Yes, Nightmare <laughs> Alley is a new addition to the Houston Terror Dome. This is a selfie saloon with a bar. Hey, <laughs> we, we can go ahead and stake the vampires here too, right? And take some really incredible pictures. When we talk about all that happens here at the Houston Terror Dome, we have some very great looks and, and videos of people running through and they're terrified of what's happening. Talk about what that reason is that you do and put it on something like this every single year for Halloween. Well, here at the Houston Terror Dome, we strive here, we start entertaining and we're gonna make you terrified from the moment you arrive. This also is for the whole family to come out. This is a great deal, great time. This is not just an, an attraction, we have become an event. It really has been an event. I know I couldn't talk to you much during the actual walkthrough of the Terra Dome. I was screaming too much, just like a lot of those visitors are, like we like to say, a lot of the victims are gonna be doing when we come, and we, can know, we know why. But when we do get all of that happening, we can come here and relax, because now we're talking about the bar that a lot of people are gonna be able to take part in, yeah, right? Come out the bar. You know, Joe, I, I, and I still go in here in the Houston Terror Dome, and I come in here daily, and I still get terrified when I walk in there. <laughs> and look at, look at everybody here, you guys. This is something really cool. So for the adults who have their kids running around in there, they can come and hang out here at the bar and really get that full gift of Halloween and really have a good time here, right? That's absolutely so correct, So tell Joe. people what do they do before they come out. What well, do they have to do? Well, Joe, if you don't bring an extra pair of underwear, because if you come to the Houston Terror Dome, you're going to need one. But we got some right here, Joe, in case you had an accident while you were here. <laughs> we got the Houston Terror Dome boxers it, for it you. It says, I survived Houston Terror Dome. So, of course, we're going to tell people to come out here, check it out. It'll be a great thing for you to do for Halloween. We're going to have how you can check out the tickets on our website, HoustonLife.tv. I needed this after that run, Drew, right? Cheers yeah. and happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah. Back to you guys in the studio. And cheers <laughs> to new panties. <laughs> I think they were right. boxers. They were boxers. <laughs> Okay, Joe, you know. <laughs> have fun with your new friends out there. Ooh, oh my gosh, I yes. cannot believe you right. just said well, that. Well, underpants, whatever. Okay, underpants, we'll just leave it at that. All right, Joe, have fun. After the break, look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we are helping you get ready for Halloween with some hauntings you definitely do not want to miss. And as we had to break, let's check in with our friend Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on entertainment tonight, including some girl power coming from the ballroom. Hey, Kevin. Courtney and Derek tonight on ET are exclusive with Michael J. Fox, the latest on his personal fight for a Parkinson's cure, plus confessions from Adele and Melanie C. joins ET as a guest co-host. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's tonight at 630 right here on KPRC2. Now stay put. Houston Life. We'll be right back. Thanks again. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, we are evoking the spirits just in time for Halloween. Learn more about the paranormal activity at the historic Olive Wood Cemetery.
<laughs> Looking for a new read, Dr. Ian Smith reveals the true story that inspires his thrilling crime novel, novel Wolf Point. I love checking in with him. Sorry, my mic was clipped. We were saying goodbye to our chefs that were Bye, in Khalil studio. and Willie. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you later, chefs. guys. And Dr. Like, later. <laughs> Dr. Ian Smith, he's written so many books, but this is a totally different style for him. A totally different style, and it's a crime story. It's fantastic. He's a great writer. I'm really excited about this. Normally, he well. writes about nutrition and fitness, so there okay, you go. Okay, listen to this, guys. Tomorrow, we will be live from Minute Maid for the game, and if you want to be there in person to see the game, listen up. We're giving away tickets to Friday's game to two lucky insiders. And if you're not already an insider, all you have to do is scan that QR code on the screen to join right there on the bottom left and you can enter. And it is totally free to join our KPRC2 Insider Membership Program with exclusive members only content, giveaways, a whole lot more. You do have until 7 p.m. to enter to win. And that winner will be announced tonight during our 10 p.m. newscast. This is so cool. I have no idea who's going to win, but I'm excited for you already. I, I was like, what? no idea who's going to win. The Astros are winning, but I understand the people the who are tickets, winning the tickets. Of course the Strohs will win. Very excited about the game uh, and excited that tomorrow's Friday. Let's check in with Andy and Christine now for the news at 4. Hey, yeah. guys. Hey we're there. excited, too, and we're going to have that QR code coming up here in mm -hmm. our show as well. So great to see you guys and uh, almost happy almost Friday. Almost Friday. Go Strohs. Go Strohs. We'll see you tomorrow. All right.